All right, here we go. Firefly. <clears throat> All right, everyone. So this here is Firefly for the Atari 2600. The goal here is to live through it. <clears throat> I'm gonna quote what Fru Shante has written here. Firefly is easily the worst game for the 2600 and probably the worst game in the world. Mythican and what it represents is one of the reasons for the video game crash and when you see Firefly you will understand. Boy am I looking forward to this one. Not. Here we go. What? Uh... What the fuck? Lower the sound. <laughs> this is part of the experience. Okay, let's lower the sound a bit. Audio settings. 50. I have no idea what this is. Why we're even doing it. Can you progress this? I can only move about in this area here. Wait, I was here before earlier, right? Someone was just like jamming when they made the music for this game. I, I really don't get what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> exactly. No, it's not even that bad, it's just really strange. The manual is linked above. Uh, so what does it say? Jesus, so long. Test pilot log, March 2093. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game features, getting started. Plug in, turn on, turn on. Difficult switches are not used in Firefly. Levels of difficulty are determined by game select. Uh, what? The goal is under features. What? Where? The red fire button on the joystick fires energy shots. Not possible to move left of the screen. Ball controllers work well. 
Aim select which will allow you to choose a level of difficulty. Practice mode, one play, no scoring, unlimited lives. Like, what, what's happening here? Oh. Oh, here's the difficulty. Practice mode. Level 1. Scoring for additional score picking up treasure. Level 2, one player. Enemies are more difficult to shoot. Begin play by pressing the game reset button or by pressing the red fire button. Scoring is done by hitting the enemy with a missile. Lives are remaining difficult is different by selecting practice first level or second level. All right, then I follow. Yeah, I was in practice mode. All right, so here we go. So the goal is... There is no goal. Just collect points, I guess. Actually shoot up and down? No? Fuck! I would have been pretty damn disappointed if I bought this game. This was a good idea. Oh wait, rescue Pixie? Is that the the Fuck. Oh reboot material. Oh, this is the pixie. Oh, we rescue her with some points. What? Ah, oh, fuck. What? Oh, whatever. What's the uh, the world record high score of this? What the fuck did I die from? Ah, oh, screw that. We rescued Pixie at least once. <laughs> That's good enough. I can only have one bullet on screen at a time. No, oh, fuck. I don't I don't really know what the <laughs> Shit. Oh, 
I shoot upwards sometimes. There we go. If you hold right and down, you shoot upwards. If you hold left, you shoot you shoot upward too. It just shoots in some kind of direction. Sometimes. I don't know why. Fuck Pixie. Fuck oh, shit. Sniped. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, you know what? Screw this. I'm playing easy mode. Fuck! <laughs> right, they, they move much slower now. God damn it! 9,000. I wonder if we can match that. Can't be that hard, we get a lot of points. There's actually, I have been thinking about that, there's a lot of consoles I would love to play games from, but I, I don't think there will ever be submissions unless I almost ask for them. But if we have systems such as like, uh, Wonderswan, and uh, Neo Geo, and uh, Game Gear, and uh, I don't know, you can <laughs> just Keep coming up with weird ass game one in the Firefly series. Yeah, exactly. This is where Firefly began. Imagine playing $60 for this shit. I don't even get what the ship is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a spaceship, but it doesn't look like it. It's only 995. Well, I'm glad about that, I guess. No wonder they cancelled the show. Yeah. Holy hell, it sounds it really sounds like someone didn't know at all how to how to make music when they made this. <laughs> yes, we'll take five of those. saving pixie, it's just dumb. This is actually the only enemy that's difficult. <laughs> Alright, so this one is a bit tricky too, but they never move. Still played worse. I'm guessing you're not that good at piano then. I mean, this game is pretty darn bad, I must say. Yeah, there must be worse than this. I guess what makes it so bad is there's no content. There's like nothing. I mean, it was probably one of the most disappointing things you could buy. Because I mean, I've been playing it for 20 minutes and I almost reached maximum score.
<laughs> Adventure was so much better compared to this. I mean, Adventure wasn't good either, but at least it was pretty fun. <laughs> what is it at the bottom of the screen? Is it flowers or something? I think it's flowers, or seaweed, or something. Oh, aliens. Uh, maybe it's aliens. I wonder what, what reviews this game got. Imagine how crap this would be without the bottom row of identical flowers. Yes, I mean, they make the entire experience, don't they? This game would be utter shit without them. I mean, I can really get where, where adults got the idea that game like video games was bad for you. Rest assured, Star Fox, Sorcerer. This one, Star Fox and Sorcerer, then they went out of business. I'm guessing they weren't really good at... They weren't that good at making games then. We should play all of them, really. We should play Sorcerer and Star Fox as well. I don't think 9,999 is achievable in this game, because the the single single digit never changes actually. Atari's defender only worse. <clears throat> so this was a shovelware company, I guess. Twin Galaxies says now 9,000. <laughs> oh, Twin Galaxies. <laughs> well, let's see, I guess. Exactly. <laughs> Twin Galaxies are known, known for being trustworthy, aren't they? They're very accurate, it's just that the results are fake. It's pretty impressive that I managed to shoot down the freaking pumpkin so often. Alright, so let's see if we can if we can match the world record here. Hey, it actually did end up at 9999. Alright, so let's try to rescue Pixie and then we're done, I guess. Oh. Pixie! Uh, Pixie! 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 Oh. Pixie! Pixie! How the fuck do you do this? Pixie! Oh fuck. Oh well. 
<laughs> oh well, we did it. <laughs> I think I, I lived through the experience that was Firefly. <laughs> what was I trying to do? Rescue the pixie without dying. That's what I tried to do. <laughs> no, this is... This game is very bad. You can't make a mystery tournament submission out of this, it's just too bad. Yeah, you could touch the, the fly behind the small spinning thingy. <laughs> Fruit says GG, we all say GG. Yeah, I mean we match the world record in points. So, where do we begin? This game is bad. Very, very bad. The main problem is really that there is... There is nothing in this game. The controls... While the direction keys does what they are supposed to do, that is about the only thing that makes sense. The graphics are horrible, the music is even worse, and the enemies Oh, the crown. How do you spell you will? You will? All this steaming pile of crap. You will. Oh, crown, crown. I don't know what to say. Whoever sold this should be ashamed of themselves. I mean, uh, actually. This game sort of makes <laughs> Ships Challenge not as bad a game. Nah. Enemies. Why should they be ashamed? I mean, this is the equivalent of shovelware, or like copy-pasteware on Steam. If people do it because they want money, should they be proud of what they do? No. <laughs> they should be freaking ashamed of themselves. Would be fun to see in MT. It will never get in, believe me, this is just... This is just too bad, and too short. It's far too short. The designer of this game never programmed another game after this one. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Alright everyone, a quest is completed. There's six gold on the line here. <laughs>